despite the odd female fan, Edward Heath was long the subject of speculation about his sex life. But now, far worse, at least four separate police forces are investigating several allegations of offences involving children. The latest being Kent, who said tonight they're looking into a complaint of sexual assault from the early 60s in the east of the county, around where Heath was born. And the alleged victim has named him. But today's headlines have prompted those who worked for Heath to come to his defence. I couldn't possibly see Ted Heath taking the risk of dealing with a rent boy, a self-confessed rent boy, or indeed a person who's supposed to have kept a brothel, making himself so vulnerable in that way. That wasn't Ted's way. Yesterday, Wiltshire police went to his old house in Salisbury to appeal for anybody who knew of abuse by Heath to come forward. After the Independent Police Complaints Commission said they were inquiring whether the local police had dropped a prosecution after someone threatened to expose child sex offences by the former PM. And we'd really like to hear from everybody that um, may have any information that supports our investigation. And today's Mirror had a story from a man alleging that Heath raped him when he was only 12. The paper quoted a letter from the man saying Heath took him back to his London flat for sex. He said that he only had the one bedroom and that if I was OK with that, I could share his bed. But John Campbell, author of an acclaimed biography of Heath, is sceptical about all the reports. I think there is no evidence of any gay activity at any stage in his life. Um, and it is much more plausible that he simply repressed whatever he did feel, but I don't think he, I think he was a, a sexless, an asexual man. We always tend to think that everybody has to be driven by sex, but I think some people aren't. And I think Ted Heath was one of those. His life was very full of other things, and I don't think he had any time or interest for sex. But now Jersey police have confirmed they're examining whether Heath abused boys from the notorious Haute de la Garenne children's home on the island one of Jimmy Savile's haunts. An American reporter who tried to pursue that story initially had trouble getting a British visa. I first heard about Ted Heath in Jersey uh, from police officers who had investigated child abuse there. There was a pervasive yachting culture with abuse that would take place on the yachts. Sir Edward Heath died almost exactly 10 years ago. His reputation tarnished more by his troubled public life than anything in his private life. But with police and the far-reaching Goddard inquiry now almost overwhelmed by allegations against senior figures, we may never know the truth about this most enigmatic Prime Minister.